Hello, welcome back. It's Richard Tuturnji and this is Quick Wins with Com. And today I'm talking all about being a market leader. You see, I've been talking about this topic quite recently and quite a lot at a lot of different events and people are really interested in this topic because I believe with business owners, we go into a business really because we, we have a message to share. And you see that message is the same when we go on the business halfway through the business, it's just sometimes it could be stronger at some parts, depending on how busy we are in the actual business itself. But ideally, we go into the business because we believe that we have a message, a strong message to share. We can do something different, we can do something unique, and that's why we open a business up. So being a market leader is just that. Being a market leader is being a leader. And the question is that I have is, are we being leaders in our business? Or are we letting the businesses overtake us and letting the industry lead us versus us leading the industry. You see businesses and new businesses and new industries are created because of leaders. It's leaders who create industries, it's leaders who create businesses. So it's important if you wanna dominate your industry, if you have a really clear message that you wanna share, it could be in finance, you could be a hairdresser, you could be a plumber, you could be a locksmith, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, there's a message to share. And if you get that message clear, all you have to do then is make sure you share that message on these platforms like social media and YouTube and Facebook and Facebook Live and that's probably another talk in itself. But get clear on your message and make sure you get that message out to your industry. So you don't have to have a million fans on Facebook. You don't even have to have a thousand fans on Facebook. But what you have to have is you have to have the right audience listening to you because you're the leader in that industry. You see, I don't know what goes in other industries because I'm not in those industries. I'm in my one or two industries. And as long as you know the people in your one or two industries and you know that you, your messaging is different to everybody else and your message is so unique that you need to share it, then people will follow you. People want to be led by somebody. So you can decide if you want to be a leader or a follower. But generally as business owners, as I said, we go into business for a message. We go into business because we have something to share. So don't shine away from that. Make sure you execute that message. Get it out to your industry. And don't worry how many views or how many likes, how many fans you have. Just get it out. We don't need a million people, a million customers. We might just need 10 more customers, 10 more clients. We might need five, we might need 100. And depending on how many clients you need, depends on how loud you can send that message. It's all up to you and it's all about how many people you want to aspire. But remember, focus on your industry. Focus on only that industry first. Master that industry, master that message. And then if you want to share another industry, go for another industry. People buy from people. So if you think about that process and think about how you can get into their face, how you can get into the front of mind, your business will go from strength to strength. I hope you like this um, episode. Like, share, and comment if you have. Remember, if you want to be a market leader, start taking action and start implementing some of this stuff. I really look forward to um, giving you more bite-sized information and most importantly, quick wins that you can take in your business and you can get moving straight away and you know see if they, they work for your business. I'm Richard Deturnji, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.